Oh. Rick. Hi, Rick. Yeah. How are you? How are you? It's always nice when you come off the ice and Rick's just waiting there, uh, wagging his tail, and everyone gets to pet him a little bit and everyone smiles. So it's nice when you get a little surprise like that. Oh, it's amazing that he's going to go on from this and be able to help someone out in such a great way and someone that certainly needs him. And I'm sure they're going to have a great bond and they're lucky he's a great dog. Positive for Heroes is a program that I started to develop in 2013 after having my first service dog in 2012, and I wanted to be able to provide that to other veterans. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, Rick. Hi, baby. Come here. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Chris. What you doing? You're such a big boy. Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. I'm going to sniff. When we look at pairing up a service dog with a veteran, we look at the personality of the veteran, we look at the personality of the dog, and try to make that connection. My name is Chris Kankowitz, and I am a 10-year veteran of uh, the United States Coast Guard. Hold that right there. You guys are doing great. <laughs> Good boy. I have hearing loss due to being in the service, and then I recently suffered a traumatic neck injury, which left me with mobility issues. So a service dog that can hear and also watch my back will be a plus. Rick, heel. Veterans of all aspects, combat, non-combat. We all have issues, we all have different problems. You know, stress, anxiety, it comes in many shapes, sizes, and forms. I guess the Army calls them battle buddies. You know, when a Coast Guard rescue swimmer goes into the water, there's, you know, another flight mechanic in the helicopter watching him. So it's just that, somebody to be there to help watch me. You know, we figured perfect fit, Sabres dog, Chris loving the Sabres. Come on, Rick. It was pretty awesome. He is very special, he's big. Rick, you wanna go to the store? Come on. Rick still has four to five months to go with his training, and now that we have paired them up, we'll let him go home with Chris, let him get used to the surroundings. We have to make sure that there's still that good fit between the two of them. Look at that, Rick, huh? Is that yours? Do I get an autograph? It's a high honor. You can pin all the medals and ribbons on my chest that you want, but nothing, nothing beats this, this award. Nothing.